So for this video, I'm going to show you how I take my 4C afro to this loose braided style, kind of inspired by Zoe Kravitz. And the first thing you're really going to do is just make sure your hair is blow dried or detangled. Don't blow dry it too straight, just enough that you don't have any tangles in it. And you're going to pick a section. There are two ways to do this. You can do your whole head in a grid pattern using really thin rubber bands or you can just grab your hair individually. In this case, I was just redoing a piece as an example, so I didn't need a rubber band because the grid pattern was already there. So start braiding your hair, leaving maybe like a quarter inch gap at the root, so don't braid directly onto your scalp. Leave some spacing there, and braid down maybe just like an inch or so. And once you have that, you can see that spacing that I have. And the reason for that spacing is you're going to use a crochet tool. So you need enough space that you can pull not just the tool, but the hair through. For this style, the goal is that the hair is thick. So if you want to pull through enough hair, you're going to need enough room. Um, and I still end up using a small crochet needle, even with the amount of hair that I have. So um, just as you do any crochet style, just pull your hair through. And once I pull the hair through, I'm going to kind of show you the two ways that you can do it. So right now I have this loop and typically when you crochet your hair, you would just pull it through and that's what creates the security. And I do recommend doing this um, because it will keep the hair in tight. But in this example, I'm actually going to pull the hair all the way through so that there's no loop and it's just a strand of hair going all the way through my hair. So I just pulled it through and now I offset the sides. And the only reason to do this is if you bought a pack of hair shorter than the length you want. So now you can see that this one side is going from like nine inches to like 14 inches because I'm pulling it. But with that means that the hair is gonna be less secure. So from there, you're going to start braiding your hair uh, make sure that your hair is mixed in. So don't just have three strands where two strands are the braiding hair and one strand is your hair. You want it all to be blended together and that's because the curls of your hair are going to be part of what keeps this style in. And at this point there's also two ways to do this. You can either choose to braid your hair all the way down and to leave the ends loose which again will make your hair more secure but will give you a more of a look where you have box braids and you combed at the ends. If you want more of a boho look you're going to start kind of picking and dropping so braid a little bit and then every now and again separate some of that braiding hair and that way from when it's all done you're going to get more of a look of loose hair as opposed to braids and this can be great if you kind of like more of a boho look it's also really good because if you want to dye the hair later on, you could just pull out the braiding hair pieces and do a little something with those without touching your own hair. Um, and then you're just going to continue to braid down. I recommend braiding down as far as you see reasonable for each piece. Uh, obviously, the farther down you braid, the longer this hairstyle is going to take you. And I will let you know that this is a very labor-intensive hairstyle. It can take you anywhere from 15 hours to 30 or more. And this is with medium sized braids and hair that's anywhere from, I'd say, 10 inches to 24. Those are the lengths that I've done. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. So in this case, for securing the ends, what I'm going to do is keep going all the way down until I just have an extremely small braid. And that will make the hair pretty secure if it's synthetic hair or treated curly human hair. If it is very straight hair, whether it be synthetic or virgin human hair, I recommend using hair glue, the kind of hair glue that they glue tracks on with, because it won't damage your hair. Uh, you'll be able to comb your hair and everything, and all you have to do is put a little dab on, a little bit below your natural hair, and take a strand or two of the synthetic and wrap it around. And this way the glue's not exposed, the hair's not sticking to itself. Just use a really small amount and use a toothpick to apply it works amazing. Um, it breaks down a little bit over time so by the time that you're taking your hair out 
you 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 have no risk of damaging your hair because it's not on your actual hair. Some people use nail glue and all you know super glue. I don't recommend that because it honestly feels crunchy, and super glue is really not the kind of thing that should be around your hair and your face. And so, from there, I'm just gonna wet the hair because this hair is actually curly hair, just so that it can blend in with the other pieces. Because in this example, I was just redoing a piece of hair that was either loose. I had had this hair in for already probably at least like four weeks or a month or two. And I just kind of showing you the overall look. So that's with the curly human hair. That's 1B. And usually I end up cutting it to show their length, which I like. And yeah, it, it works out really well. And when you do that tapering where you offset the hair, you also end up with hair that you don't really need to trim as much because it's even. So right here, we're going back into the shirt that I was wearing that day because I ended up doing the Ibiza human hair. Pretty much use the same method and this is where I came to the conclusion that I don't recommend getting virgin human hair. Because if you get virgin human hair, it is going to slip because it's too silky. Yes, you can dye it and do this and that to it, but you have to glue your hair if you're going to do this. And the expenses that you incur by doing the human hair is a lot. It's extremely hard to reuse the hair if you have to put glue in it. So I just personally don't recommend getting this kind of hair unless you intend on gluing it in or you seriously intend on dyeing the hair. Because the treated human hair is it's, it's really good and you're blow drying and flat ironing it, you're going to get the same texture pretty much. Um, yeah. So here, since some of the hair that I used, I had to use some of the curly hair. So I'm showing you kind of the finished look, but this is before I kind of blow dried my hair and flat ironed it to even it out. And I didn't wash the hair yet in this example, so it is kind of like puffy and curly, but after I wash it, it kind of has more of a more... It looks better, <laughs> you know, hair always looks better. You, you need to wash it first for any hair that you're purchasing. But because I had bulk hair, I couldn't really wash the bulk hair because it's not connected to weft or anything. So yeah, so I just went and blow dried it. And you can see the back is still like really awkwardly curly because I had to use two different packs of hair. And I used my blow dry brush, which worked out really well. And so just kind of the final thoughts for this is this is a really great hairstyle. You could wear this for one to three months you can wash your hair you can get to your scalp so you don't really have to worry about build up or anything like that um it's great too because if you can have shorter natural hair you have 4c hair going in and blowout is nice and all but for me personally i've had the experience of getting blowouts and it damaging my hair and i'm not saying all blowouts can do that but if you're on a journey to grow your hair and to kind of leave your hair in its natural state this is a great option because this is super versatile like if you've kind of oh i've been trying to grow my 4c hair but i really want to dye my hair you know blonde or whatever blue you know braid this hair in your head dye it all these colors you know destroy this hair cut it into a bob you know you could probably actually cut bangs onto this if you wanted to if you did it in the right way and then take it out and you know leave your natural hair in amazing condition so Great option, but this can take you up to 30 hours to do.